United Juno OS is a custom ROM for Poco F1 based on Android Pie made by Russian developers. It is well known for providing a good performance and amazing battery life. If you're looking for best custom ROM for Poco F1 with an amazing battery life for playing games, then Nitrogen OS is the one you have to try for sure. I have been using the Nitrogen OS for almost one week now and I want to share everything about this in this video. So before starting this video guys, please subscribe to this channel and click on bell button to get notified. So this is KSK Ryle, let's get started. The Nitrogen OS is currently providing an official build for Pocophone F1, so and these builds are stable now, which seems to be working super fine. All of the features are actually working without any issues. So let's dive into the system. I'm gonna quickly gonna show you the version which I'm running currently. So I'm gonna head over to settings, system, and as you can see the Nitrogen OS logo there. And if I click on the about form, you can see the Android version, which is Android 9.0 Pi. The build which I have installed is having a December security patch level. And you can see the kernel version, it says a Nitro kernel plus, which comes with a Nitrogen OS. So I can say that this kernel is damn stable. And I will talk about this in a moment in performance part. So moving on to the features, so inside the settings, you will see an option called personalization. So this setting allows you to customize anything you fancy. So here inside the status bar setting, there is an option which you may use, especially if you haven't hide the notch. It's called a smart clock. When it's enabled, the status bar will show the time periodically. So as you can see, it's now hidden. But whenever you try to access the notifications panel, it will display the time for a moment and disappears back again. So this way it will have a space to show a notification badges, especially with a notch enabled. You can also use the option called OLTE icon enabling. This option will show the OLTE badge on the status bar. Also inside the lock screen setting, enabling the first option will show you the detailed information while charging your phone, such as how many milliamps of current is entering into the device. So next up, my favorite feature, it's called the power menu actions. So normally your power menu is limited to show a few actions, but using this setting, you can add a more actions to the power menu, such as a screenshot, airplane mode, advanced restart, flashlight, and more. So these options are sometimes quite handy when you add to the power menu. Also inside the navigation bar under the advanced settings, I can change the size of the navigation bar by adjusting these parameter values. Next up, hiding notch. I have tried many custom ROMs on Pocophone F1, but none of them have included the option to hide the notch. Eventually, I end up going onto developer settings and looking for a similar display cutout option, then hiding notch from there is super terrible. Thanks to the Nitrogen OS developers, um, now you can find the hide notch option inside display. There are two options available to hide the notch. The first one which simply says hide notch. When you enable this, it will only work with applications and won't be applied to the entire system UI. But there is a much powerful option available next to that. It's called a display cutout. Choose the option called hide. As you can see, the entire system UI is trimmed below the notch, which helps to view all of your notification badges on the status bar. Overall, the other features which you will get with Nitrogen OS includes a built-in support for screen recording, which is limited up to 3 minutes, the ambient display, the double tap to wake, and on all of the features which will work fine. So moving on to the performance. So this is what I'm really excited about this ROM. The performance is simply stunning. So Nitro Kernel, which is a super aggressive when it comes to performance. All of your applications opens up super fast like a rocket. I haven't faced any lag, soldering issues with this ROM. It's simply the best for everything. I'm shocked to say this custom ROM for Pocophone F1 is really overtaking MIUI. Playing games on Nitrogen OS is astounding. Heavy games like the PUBG, the Asphalt 9 Legends at ultra high settings handles without any hiccups. In fact, I have played a PUBG in HDR mode on MIUI. I have faced a little bit of frame drop issues over there, but when it comes to Nitrogen OS, it eliminates all of those frame drops and provides a stunning visuals by maintaining the good battery level. So I ran a benchmarking applications like the Geekbench and Tutu, and the scores which I got on my Poco F1 is amusing. On Geekbench, when it comes to CPU, the scores are much higher than the usual. Just look at the multi-core score, it's almost close to 9K. When it comes to GPU, the rendered script score is 13K+, plus, which you will get on often on OnePlus 60. Higher the scores of GPU means the ROM is better optimized and stable and lets you play games at ultra high settings without any frame drop issues. On the latter, the Antutu score is around 240K+, plus, which is less compared to MIUI. So these are the benchmarking scores which I got on my Poco F1 with Nitrogen OS. 
So next up, as usual, the main thing about the Nitrogen OS is the battery life. It's far more better than any custom ROM when it comes to battery life without any doubt. Initially, I was skeptical between the Lineage OS and Nitrogen OS, but when, when I have noticed while gaming, like playing heavy games on Lineage OS, the battery life seems to be a drain up faster. But in Nitrogen OS, I have noticed and played a PUBG for 36 minutes at high quality settings, I mean, the HDR mode, the battery it uses is around a 7%, which absolutely equals to 280 amps per hour. So that's insane. So my screen time usage is around 8 plus hours with Nitrogen OS. And for fair usage, your Poco F1 with Nitrogen OS will provide enough juice for a whole day, even with the Wi Fi, Bluetooth, LTE, and location is turned on. So the bottom line of the video, definitely this ROM is made for gaming, so any graphic intensive applications or games you throw at it will crush them without any hiccup. At last I have compiled the FAQs you will know before flashing this ROM. Finally, if you want to install Nitrogen OS on your Pocophone F1, so watch this video from here or check the links below. The process will be the same for flashing any custom ROM on Pocophone F1. Stay tuned guys, more videos is coming up. I will compare a Nitrogen OS with MIUI in the next one. Also give me your suggestions and opinions in the comment section down below. So that's pretty much about it. Thanks for watching. This is Case Keral. I will catch you in my next one. Bye bye now.